Hello friends, welcome back to part 6 of Kotlin tutorial. In this episode, I will show you how you can work with written type and uh, functional method in Kotlin. So, open your IntelliJ IDA and then here you can start. So, first of all, I want to show you how you can. Uh, in the previous uh, episode, uh, I told you how you can make a function. Uh, in this uh, video, I will show you how you can make a written type for a function. So, I want to make a function uh, named, for example, at now I want to just uh, print some value here a mm, 10 plus 10 okay then you can call this add function here inside the main method now if I run As you can see here is uh, the result of uh, 10 plus uh, 10 by calling add function in the main method. When we call this add method, uh, here this gets called and everything inside the block will execute. Inside the block, uh, we print 10 plus 10. Uh, you can put the written type here uh, in front of the method parentheses. If it was unit, uh, this is as like as void uh, in Java as you have. Uh, for example, public uh, public void at in Java you have public void. Add, but in Kotlin it doesn't have void uh, you can use unit now if I run again uh, this means uh, we don't want to return anything from this method okay as you can see this works nice also uh, you can uh, and gets work uh, like this okay hi there, there, there this add method also uh, you can run your application as like as this uh, this is you use an assign expression for for the content of your method okay now if I run this will print okay everything is nice but if you print something else hi how are you now here is a problem if you put semicolon also here is a problem okay so in this situation uh, you need a block because you have more than more than one statement like as this now uh, you need here a semicolon okay oh I'm really sorry now 
no th uh, this cannot uh, support okay you just uh, if you use a sign expression for your method uh, you just mm, uh, yeah, you just use one statement uh, uh, for the value of your method content just so here you can uh, put just one uh, statement okay Now here, as you can see, we return it uh, 10 from the function at, okay, or 10 plus 30. Uh, here is a problem. This means uh, you you don't want to use um, this function as default. You you now return it some value from this function, okay? So you put here. Uh, now, uh, as you can see, this literal is integer value. So, uh, you need an integer return type for the, uh, this method, okay? Now, everything is okay. Now, here, if you run, nothing will print it. Okay? Nothing will print it. Because this add function call, but uh, we uh we doesn't we didn't uh, uh, take the return the, the the return value okay so where a is equal to at now we can print that print l okay this is the return can see now uh, it works nice also you can specify here the type any uh, it supports any kind of variable or you can put the init okay okay that works nice uh, now if you want if you want to change this function get max value okay get get max value for example uh, now i want to make a uh, two variable here where a is equal to 100 where b is equal to 200 okay then f a greater than f a greater than b then return a otherwise return b okay here as you can see uh, we check uh, a if a is greater than b then return a otherwise then return b now a will return because b will return because B is greater than A. Okay, 200. If I make this 300, this will return from this function. Okay. This works nice, but you can uh, check this instead of this, as like as this. Uh, before this I want to show you something else here uh, you can make a variable for example x 
is equal to f a greater than b then return a otherwise uh, else return b okay then you can return here the x value okay the x variable this also works nice uh, you, uh, the f and else expression in Kotlin can also return some value okay oh f a is greater than now this works nice but in here also you can use in a set of this block uh, you cannot uh, use a sign expression for example x okay now this also works nice as you can see this works nice perfect so this was uh, the return value or return type in function in Kotlin. Thank you for your watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye.